sort of record this patch which is using modular MS20 and Minilog. MS20 is set using a Berg Ollie Lab patch. This guy knows what he's doing. Uh, all tuned up to a C. And with my, which is what you can hear now, with the modular, I've got two oscillators, ramp output. I've got CV, but it's just one note. C, all tuned together with the MS20. That mixed signal is then going into my A108 filter. I'm coming out in the 6 dBs here. Let's turn it, turn it up. So out of there, it then so I find the lead. It then goes in to a VCA, and the VCA ultimately is modulated with 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 an ADSR unit and I'm actually modulating it so there's actually two VCA's here because I'm actually running the envelope which you can hear now through another VCA and I'm going to use uh, a combination of LFO's here to create some movement on that envelope. So although there's a lot of cables really and it's gonna be, it looks a bit confusing, ultimately the output from the filter goes through a VCA and the VCA is modulated with an attack decay unit. As you can see we could have a or a low very high time length I'm using this LFO here as like a master clock. Now, the output from that VCA is going down here. I've got a Lynx module. And with the Lynx module, I'm actually feeding in that audio path that I've just explained. I'm also feeding in another audio path where, so from this oscillator here, I'm going in to the disting, it's a Mark III this unit, and I'm using the wave folding function, which is 2D, you'll have to look it up because the disting's a little bit complicated. There's a wave folding, so I'm feeding in a waveform in there, and I can wave fold it, and I'm actually feeding the output from this VCA into links so that I get a combined output. And this is interesting. With the disting, you can actually go out the other side and wave fold it the other way. And then I've got another modulation signal here because I'm using peaks on channel 2 with a tap LFO, just creates a bit more movement. Okay, so if 
we turn that down now the master clock which is this one here and I told you I'm using that LFO as a master clock master clock I'm feeding into this trigger unit it's an Erica Synth Pico unit I've got the sequencer and I've got the trigger unit the trigger unit gives me four channels for drums um, I'm also combining that master clock and I'm feeding the master clock over here to links and I'm using links again just uh, well over here I'm using links again to create all these a couple of other envelopes now from trigger unit I've got an output which is the top one here and this goes down into the T kick which gives you a kick drum out and a kick drum I'm feeding into the wasp filter because it gives me a better kick Yeah. nice kick and then the other channels what I can do is I've got down here I've got another Erica synth unit which is drums and it's got two channels for drums and you can adjust it so one of the particular drums I like electronic there a bit more of a kick electronic kick and then I'm going to feed this other channel which is the other channel on the Pico drums into this trigger unit here and I've got what well, I've got that channel set on which is drums too so in there nice little snare now from the what would be the hi hat channel, I'm using this as another sort of high speed clock, and I'm feeding it in through a sync into the sync channel of the mini log, and that gives me this. gives me an LFO that's synced with the modular and the good thing about the trigger unit, nice electronic unit, it's got five volts out. Now another thing I do is I actually have got this uh, Euclidean unit here from Rebel Technology and I actually swap that I stick, I've got, the, I've got the clock going in there as well and then I can get a bit of variation on these So that's really my patch and then we can play the MS-20 over the top So that's really it. I'm using the uh, Rebel Technology unit here just to you know, give me some Euclidean rhythms and give a bit more variation on the, um, on the drums.
really just recording this for my own benefit, but if anybody else is interested, uh, there you have it. Sorry about the shakiness. All done on the fly, and what you're hearing is what I'm getting. <laughs>